So this is the Ponder Podcast for the tire. You've got some uh, drawings right here that give you all the dimensions. You're going to, on Inventor, this is what it's going to look like. And then when we start assembling it, you've got the tire around the wheel and even the uh, axle in the back. All right. So here we go. Let's start a new drawing, standard drawing, 2D sketch. I'm going to do the YZ plane and start with a circle that is 1.44 and offset that. Point one, and then I'm going to extrude it by clicking it and make that 0.55. All right, I mean, so far, nothing too difficult. You've probably done this now a hundred times. So here's the part where we're going to make those ridges on the inside, and we're going to start with a mid-plane and you've done this with a couple different assignments so again nothing too new there we go so I clicked on the outside of the tires and created that mid-plane and now I'm going to start a 2d sketch on the plane so I got it sometimes it's tough it's got to like light up there it goes and I'm just going to slightly angle this, if I can. There we go. And I'm going to project my geometry on the inside of it. All right. So mine runs a little slow when I'm making these videos. A little choppy. All right. Now I'm going to uh, make a couple lines. I'm going to go start in the middle and go straight up. I'm going to come. I'm going to come back. I'm going to do a line. I'm going to. Hey, here's a shortcut for a line. Hit L. There you go. I'm going to go out. And then I'm going to make another line. Hit L. And come back. And I want to offset this inside line. Come here. There it goes. Um, I want to offset that 0 0.03. All right. Let's use this lock and click on that set line that goes straight up. And let's dimension. I'm going to click on this line and I'm going to click on this line. That's going to create an angle and we want four degrees. And I also want to dimension here to here and make that also four degrees. All right. Now let's do some trimming. Trim all those. Trim that center line. Trim that. Zoom in a little bit, trim that, and finish the sketch. I want to extrude what we just made, so it's kind of tough to see in there. There it goes. All right, so here's something I don't know that we've done yet. You want to hit this right here. You want to extrude it in two different directions. And we want to change that number to 0.4. There we go. And let's do a circular rotation, circular pattern, I'm sorry. Click there, hit your red um, arrow, click going around. Let's make that 15 and hit OK. And now, you know what, I, I, we're really close to being done. All right, so let's just add that ridge in the middle. Um, we're going to create a 2D, um, again, on that works 
plane, 2D sketch on that work plane. Come here, work plane. I can't. Come here. There we go. All right, let's project that inside. Use the offset to bring it in 0 0.03. So that's the same. Uh, let's finish the sketch and extrude what we just did. Uh, again, both directions, and that's 0 0.025. So just a tiny bit. Hit OK, and you're all done uh, with the you know the tire and to turn off the work plane you can right click it here turn off the visibility uh, change the material to rubber and you got all kinds of different choices I'm gonna go with black I'm gonna hit this arrow right here it makes it black and now I want to make sure I save it in my inventor file as tire and my initials all right, good job.